Twenty one reasons why you can't straddle planche. Let's get started. Reason number one why you can't straddle planche yet is because your forearms are in too much pain. It's the first thing I did. I had to reduce the intensity at which I was training. So that meant if I was doing a lot of unassisted straddle planche holds, I was now training with a band. This would allow my forearms more time to recover. The workouts were less intense. The second thing is once they were recovered, they weren't feeling as painful. When I come back to training, I would now warm up the forearms properly. And I don't mean stretches. I don't mean wrist stretches. I mean, I would actually train my forearms in the warm-up. So this is what I mean. I'd grab a dumbbell. I would then take the weights off one side. So it's this hammer grip kind of dumbbell. You can buy these things, but I kind of made one just using an old dumbbell I had lying around. I'd then do reps of ulnar deviation and radial deviation. This actually warms up my forearm. It's not just stretching where it's increasing the range of motion. It's actually warming up, getting some blood in there, getting prepared for the work it's about to do. It also strengthens it. Over time, I've been adding weight slowly, doing high reps of, you know, about three sets of 20, just not too hard, just where I can get to 20, where I just feel my forearms getting pumped. This is how I've kind of stopped my forearm pain. Now, it's a lot less. I still have to warm up with this or else that forearm pain comes back. Something you're gonna to have to condition your body and work on. It's just like any other strengthening of a body part that's weak. You need to strengthen it over time and keep doing it even in your warm ups. So guys, if you're getting pain in your forearms, you know, either after the planche or during it, warm up your forearms, not by stretching, do that as well, but what I mean by that is by use weights or even resistance bands to properly fill the forearm with blood and get it stronger over time. You need to be strengthening your forearms as your shoulders and everything else get stronger as well. The second reason why you can't straddle planche yet is because you're not doing reverse leg hyperextension. When the straddle planche, the legs are outstretched in a straight line. That's the huge difference here. So you have to fill that gap where there's more muscles that are engaging here to keep those legs outstretched. So what do we do about this? We need to train the muscles that are responsible for this. And that's gonna be primarily the glutes. You're gonna have to have good core activation as well. The glutes are gonna be a big part of this. So we need to start training that with reverse leg hyperextensions because so many people will have weak glutes because they're not really squatting heavy. They're not working on their glutes. And as guys as well, we're not really doing those booty workouts. So trust me, you start doing reverse leg hyperextensions, you're gonna feel the burn, especially if you're a guy, and it's gonna get you closer to that clean straddle planche. And the third reason why you can't straddle planche yet is because you're not comfortable with the advanced tuck planche. As you know, you wanna get comfortable with the progressions before straddle planche, so the tuck planche and the advanced tuck planche before moving on. It's it's not essential, but it's really recommended. It's gonna make your journey a lot easier if you can learn the activation in those two skills and then move on to the straddle planche. So if you can't straddle planche yet, potentially you haven't gotten comfortable with the advanced tuck planche or even the tuck planche. You wanna make sure you're comfortable with the advanced tuck planche before you're moving on. Of course, you can work on the straddle planche and work on the advanced tuck planche at the same time. That's totally possible, but just make sure that you are getting comfortable with the advanced tuck planche while you're working on that straddle planche because it's gonna be key. If you're good with the advanced tuck planche, you're gonna be good with the straddle planche. The fourth reason why you can't straddle planche yet is because you're only training on the floor. So on Instagram, I see people sending me clips of, oh, okay, I'm trying to learn the straddle planche, I'm trying to learn the advanced tuck planche, and they're only training on the floor. Buy a pair of parallettes, even if they're cheap ones, it will do for now, it will help with your progression. I'd avoid the plastic ones, just try and get a good pair of cheap wooden ones that are gonna last, you know, at least a year for you to progress with, because this is gonna help a lot. But if you're looking for a pair of good quality bars that are gonna last years, then check out Gore Nation. you guys know the deal. Use the code JACK10 for minus 10% at checkout. But guys, use a set of bars. Instead of doing it all on the floor, it's gonna help save your wrists and your forearms and will help you progress a little bit faster. The fifth reason why you can't straddle planche yet is because you're only training with a light band. So of course you can keep training with just a light band. So that red band from Gore Nation, that's about 70 to 80% of most people's body weight. So that means you're gonna be training about an intensity of about 70 to 80% compared to 100%, which is unassisted. I really like to train with this red band. However, there are going to be times where you want to train at about 70 to 80 percent. This is going to help when you're recovering slightly or it's more of a light day and even 50 to 60 percent that's when it is going to be warming up a real light day a deload session things like that. So if you haven't had much success with just a light band try using a slightly heavier band but holding for like 30 40 seconds. See how that works for you and I'm sure it's going to help increase your strata planche progression. But if you're having problems with the programming message me on Instagram 
program as I'm sure I can help you with some calisthenics coaching. Reason number six why you can't straddle planche yet is because you haven't been doing your lean exercises. So what do I mean by this? I mean your pseudo planche push-ups, your planche lean, things like that where you're just working on leaning over your hands, trying to get your hands under your waist. I've noticed that a lot of beginners and people like that nowadays, some of them aren't doing planche leans. When I ask them, do they even know what it is? They're training them for the planche, but they don't even know what planche leans or pseudo planche push-ups are. So guys, if you're learning the straddle planche and you're struggling, you need to work on leaning further. You need a lot more raw power in your shoulders for the straddle planche compared to the advanced up planche. Reason number seven why you can't straddle planche yet is because you're not training the handstand push-up. So like I just mentioned, the straddle planche requires a lot of raw shoulder strength. Raw shoulder strength will get you a lot of the way there through the straddle planche, but you need to keep working on that protraction, core position, all of that, glutes as well. Don't forget that. But the raw shoulder strength will get you a lot of the way there. So the handstand push-up is a great exercise that's going to help increase that shoulder strength. As my handstand push-up increased in strength and I start learning the 90 degree handstand push-up, my straddle planche also increased as well. So it won't automatically get you the straddle planche, but the raw shoulder strength will help. So work on your handstand push-up. You know, you guys can search up the progressions. I have videos on my channel that will help you learn the handstand push-up. So start training it, start learning it, and it will help your straddle planche as well. Reason number eight why you can't straddle planche yet is because you're not training your protraction. I'm probably going to make a full video on protraction and why you should be focused on it. But for the straddle planche, you want to work on your protraction. So one of the best ways to do this is to do scapula push-ups. Of course, you want to use resistance bands as well. So it's not so easy. Make sure you're getting that progressive overload. You know, one of the fundamental strength principles. If you don't know what those are, you need to watch my other videos on the fundamental strength principles where I explain what these are and that will help you a lot with your training. Reason number nine why you can't straddle planche yet is because you're using bands too much. I don't rely on bands and you shouldn't either. And I'll tell you why. When training for the planche, there is an aspect mentally and physiologically of training with bands that if you keep using the bands, you're going to rely on them. And then when you take the bands away, it's going to feel pretty hard and pretty daunting to hold your own body weight in the straddle planche position. Even after you've just held it with a red band, you're going to be like, okay, it's going to feel way harder. So you want to build up that confidence that without the band, you can still hold up your body weight. Don't rely on resistance bands for your training, although most of your training, I think, should consist of resistance bands. Don't neglect unassisted holds and attempts. They're important too. Reason number 10 why you can't straddle planche yet is because you're lacking straight arm strength. So I would do this mainly with bands, heavy bands, just to hold that position in a straight arm position. You're then working the full straddle planche position or advanced step position if that's what you're working on, but also you're training the shoulders as well. But then I'd also include some isolation exercises and do dumbbells and netties. Planche leans will also work on this. So those are the few I would choose. That's all going to work on your straight arm strength and it's very important for learning the straddle planche. Reason number 11 why you can't straddle planche yet is because you don't have a calisthenics coach. Some people have incredibly busy days at work, university, at school. They don't have the time to come back at home, look on YouTube. What exercise should I do to learn the planche? How many sets should I do? When should I do that? When should I do this? It's a bit too much. This is where a coach like myself can come in handy. You don't need to worry about anything. You just need to look at your program and do it and watch the results roll in. So it's really great for those people that, you know, just don't want to spend the time learning all the scientific strength principles and all that because we've already learned it and can just tell you what to do. It's not essential. It is a bit more of a privilege, but if you do want to set aside that bit of money to get a good calisthenics coach to help your progression, it can get you miles. I literally save you years. I have saved people years of trouble in just a couple months and it's just up to you whether that money is worth it or not. If you are over 18 and you feel like calisthenics coaching might be for you, then go into the description down below and you can sign up for a free consultation for me where we'll talk about what your goals are and how it will all work if you do want to sign up for the coaching. Reason number 12 where you can't straddle planche yet is because you're doing a bit too much. I do have a video where I talk about your maximum recoverable volume. That's the maximum amount of volume you can do in a certain week or a certain period of time. However, there are times where you do want to overtrain a little bit. This is called functional overreaching and that will actually cause you to, after you get a period of rest, come back much stronger. So if you want to know all about that, that's in a different video that you can watch after this one. So to make sure you don't overtrain, you want to make sure that you're finding out how many sets in a week can I do before it sucks for getting too much or even in a single session before it gets too much. You want to know your limits so you don't go over it. So it does take a certain amount of testing. A coach can help you with this, but you know, seriously try not to overtrain for multiple 
four weeks at a time, that's when you're gonna get injured. Reason number 13 why you can't straddle plants yet is because you're not using bands at all. Pretty much everyone high level I talk to nowadays has used bands in some sort of capacity to help their progression. So guys, if you're not training with bands, or you haven't got any at the moment, try and get some bands. It's 2023, well, you know, we've learned a lot over the years in the cast tennis community of how to train with bands and bands is one of the best ways. It's not the only way and there's times where you can progress without it. But if you're starting out and you're having trouble learning the straddle planche, try using some bands, watch some of my other videos as well. Start training a bit smarter. Reason number 14 why you can't straddle planche yet is because you're not resting enough. Guys, it's quite simple. The faster and better you can recover, the more sessions you can do per week. And then overall, the faster you progress. It's that simple. So the things that go into your recovery is mainly your sleep and a big one as well as your nutrition. There's other factors as well. I've covered those in other videos, so I'm not gonna go into the detail here, but make sure the number one thing you're getting is enough sleep. That's a big one that's just gonna help with your progress. And then make sure that again, the maximum recoverable volume, make sure that you're recovering for each session and the volume isn't too much. You're making sure that you can recover for that next session and push harder. Reason 15 why you can't straddle plant yet is because of your entry into the straddle plant. But overall, if I had to just pick one that's gonna get you the best progression and the best form for the straddle plant, I'd just pick a lean into a straddle planche. So you already have your legs in a straddle position, keep your hips down, you lean forward until your hands are under your hips and you press into that straddle planche position with good form, good projection, good straight arms. That's the best way I can think of to learn the straddle planche, especially if you're using bands, you should make it a lot more easier. If you're not using bands, then you know the pike progression is a good one, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's so hard to learn the clean form by doing the pike straddle planche and then over time trying to level it out. It's a bit too hard. I wouldn't trust someone who's beginner just on their own to just learn that with good form. So I would work on that progression. A lean into the planche is usually the best one for clean form. Reason number 16 why you can't straddle planche yet is because your program doesn't go week to week. So this is one I've talked about before in another video. A big mistake people make when they're making their training program. They just go Monday to whatever Sunday and then they just have the sessions and they just copy this and follow it every week. But you want to have the sessions different week to week because of course you don't want to just stay the same. No progressive overload if you're doing the same workout every week. You want to know how you're going to progress it. So I like to do a week one, a week two, a week three, all the way up to week five, sometimes week six. And I like to know, okay, how am I going to make this harder over the weeks? Am I going to be doing longer sets? Am I going to be changing the band? Many different ways. Not only one way that's right. So you need to try it out and figure out what works. Reason number 17 why you can't straddle planche yet is because you're always doing the tuck to straddle planche entry. So this entry makes sense to go into because you've learned the tuck planche. You're now trying to get to straddle planche. So it makes sense to just extend the body and try and hold that straddle planche because you've got that advanced tuck in between as well. However, I don't like this entry because you're going from that tucked in position. So your knees are in front of you and you need to get your knees almost back behind you. And with this change of position comes with it pelvis rotation. So a lot of people find it hard to do this just using their glutes and keep the core engaged in the same position. However, if they were just to do it from leaning and getting into that straddle planche, they would hold it a lot cleaner. Reason number 18 when you can't straddle planche yet is because your legs are always bent in the straddle planche. Another big reason why the legs are bent is to shorten that lever length. So it's really a way of compensating for a lack of shoulder strength. So make sure you're still working on that shoulder strength. Reason number 19 why you can't straddle planche yet is because you're over leaning. I've seen some people when they get into that straddle planche, they lose that protraction and then they start leaning forward where that angle between their arm and their body, it start getting really tight and they start going into more of a dead planche, just dead straddle planche. They end up over leaning and falling forward. You don't want to do that. So you want to just keep your hands over your hips and get that height and elevation. Getting your serratus anterior strong is going to help with this as well. The main way I would do this is using the heavy bands to just work on perfect clean form with good elevation and height of the floor. Try not to get into that tight angle where you're going into more of a dead planche. Get that height, get that distance from the ground and drill it into your body. Again, using one of the heavier bands, it's going to be easier. Again, another reason why a range of bands is going to be useful. Reason number 20 why you can't straddle planche yet is because you haven't built up a sufficient amount amount of muscle. So the body's trying to help yourself by building more muscle. So as you keep training, which is building up sort of stress for the body, your body's going to be, okay, let's put on some muscle to help with the stress that's coming in for some reason. Why, why are we floating off the ground? Let's build some muscle to help with this. So if you focus on building muscle for a period of time, this could help with your straddle planche, especially if you're working, building muscle in certain areas in the upper body, like the anterior deltoid, really going to help with the straddle planche. And the last reason why you can't straddle planche yet is because you haven't watched these videos. On screen, you're going to see some videos that I've made about the scientific stretch principles I've mentioned in these videos about using bands, about how I train with bands, and all of these things will help you learn the straddle planche.